If you've been following along in our videos, you may be a little bit confused as to why we are no longer in Skopje, North Macedonia. But right now we are in Istanbul, Turkey, and we just happen to be here over the celebration of the 100th year anniversary of the Republic of Turkey. And we wanted to show this to you guys as soon as possible. years ago today, Turkey was declared a republic and that movement was led by Mustafa Ataturk and you'll see his portrait all over Istanbul right now and it's because he did so much to help bring Turkey into the modern age like making public schools free and mandatory for everybody um, but also did a lot to unify the Turkish people which parts of that I think are a little bit controversial but it did seem to bring the country together. And one interesting thing about him is his given name or his birth name was not actually Ataturk. That was given to him um, upon the start of the unification of Turkey. And it means father of the Turks. It seems like a lot of people still really think that here. There, there's um, so much love for Ataturk. There's um, a cultural center that we've been spending a lot of time at that's named after him. And there's just, seriously, his portrait is everywhere. listed anywhere for anything so we don't really know what's going on but we stopped just right outside of the metro station yeah, and so we're just going to keep walking a little bit while it seems like the same thing is just kind of going on continuously to see if we can find a better spot because all along this row there's just trees blocking the whole river so there's got to be a better spot somewhere along this road like up here where all of these people are that seems like it would be nice it looks a little bit like uh, maybe 
Wow. <laughs> Just pure chaos. The current president announced that this would be a low key celebration. <laughs> Had to stop and get one of the sandwiches, but of course I dropped some of that. Looks chewy. And it all brightened out. <laughs> with the crowd for what felt like an hour and we were so close to turning back but we finally found exactly what we were looking for right on the wall so we still had no idea when the shows were supposed to start so we went around and asked maybe five people and nobody knew what time until finally somebody told us that it starts at 1923 my brain does not work in 24 hour time, so that took me a second, but oh my gosh, how perfect is that? The 100 year anniversary, the time the show starts, it's so perfect. So we have- It's <laughs> so loud. So we have a little bit over an hour until the show starts, so we're gonna go try to find some food and then make our way right back to where we just were to try to get a good spot to see it. <laughs> Okay, well, that may have been easier said than done. Every restaurant has a massive line of people out the side of it. So, unless we can find something, oh, let's try to, let's go this way. <laughs> Gotta try to find something not full of people, otherwise we might have to go hungry for the show. <laughs> There's nobody on this street but this is where we just crossed into chaos. And we found food. We're not really sure what we got, but we know it's a potato and a cheese thing, and then a slice of cake. Everybody is down there. Nobody's up here on the street. Those people are probably waiting an hour. I'm sure some people down there will wait an hour to get seated at the tiny little restaurants that they're waiting up. So hopefully we'll have enough time to finish this stuff and get back down before it gets started. <laughs> that was so much better than waiting for a spot in one of the restaurants on the main street. Now we have to cross our fingers that we don't get hit by a car on our way back. <laughs> we made it back to by the river and it actually seems less crowded than when we left, I think. I don't know if everybody just squished in towards the water, but oh gosh, the wind. But it's, yeah, it really seems to have emptied out a little bit. Oh. oh my gosh, I think you can see it pretty well on the camera too. There's That's so many spotlights cool. in the clouds. Did I have I even said we're waiting for a drone drone show? I think I I don't even know if I have. I've just said we're waiting for the show to start. But I think all that I know about it is a drone show and I think fireworks. And other than that, I don't know. <laughs> Anything's 
still going on there, but we have to check it out. It looked so cool before we left that we just want to go see the energy before we go home. So it's a long way back, so we will pick back up when we get there. We are about to get off the escalator at Taxim Square, and even if the chaos from earlier has died down, just look at the incredible view that you get coming out from the metro. <laughs> That was pretty much the first view we got of Istanbul when we arrived at night. So that was pretty amazing and hopefully it looked as cool on camera. Well today definitely has not gone fully to plan. But even though we didn't see all the events we wanted to today, we feel so lucky to be able to spend such a special day in this incredible city. And just to see everybody's excitement and unification about this celebration has been so amazing to see. Thank you so much for watching and we will pick back up in Skopje, North Macedonia in our next video.